The world is in the middle of a big switchover from analogue TV to digital terrestrial. Proponents of this move say it improves broadcast quality, it boosts consumer choice and a lot of other things. We'll go into those in a second. But the process is lagging behind in Africa. Like other developing economies, it missed last year's deadlines for going digital, but the continent is working hard to try to catch up. Our next guest is involved in that effort. He is Nick Markham. He's chairman of the UK company InView. It's just launched Nigeria's first ever digital TV service. The company has its eye on other African countries for potential launches. But let's have a look, Nick, at why is the country so far behind? What's it trying to do first? Let's try and establish that. So they're trying to switch from analog to a digital TV transmission. And what, is that, what is that? Can you explain well, yeah, that a little the, bit more detail? Um, so, so currently, and it was true all around the world, you sent your signals through analog. The, uh, the trouble about that is it takes up a lot of space. And the beauty of digital TV is you can get 16 digital channels in one analogue. So basically the average person can get 30 channels instead of three or four. So this switchover actually is global, isn't it? Not just Africa. Yes. It's, it's, it's right. a, uh, and they, there's a deadline? Yes, oh. if a country doesn't do it, then at the border their, their TV signals will interfere with each other, meaning that you lose TV. So that's why every country has signed up a treaty to do it at the same time. So what is it exactly that you're doing? So basically what we're doing is that for people to get digital TV, you have to have, um, every, com every home has to have a set-top box. Right. So you right. can get digital signals. And we do the software for this set-top box. Right. So basically we make a low-cost set-top box for Africa, uh, suddenly very, very capable to get lots of digital channels, plus connect to the internet. Expensive? I mean, how, how accessible is uh, that for uh, a, 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 an ordinary person in, in, uh, in about Nigeria? About $30. Right. So, does the government get in, in uh, help out? So, on, in so yes, the government does help out because they know that actually the space that's freed up when you go from analog to digital, you free up a lot of the airwaves. They can then sell that to the mobile phone companies for 4G and data. And in Nigeria, for instance, we think that will get them as much as a billion dollars. And what are, what's going to be coming through the set-top boxes? So, so Anything they want, I presume, or is it just well, is it, the airways going to be crowded with American so-called? Uh, well, no, no. So what we are doing, actually, is, is we're making sure it's a Nigerian service. So we have Nigerian local partners. Where are these made? Uh, the, these will be made in Nigeria. So we're giving them the, the technology, and then they're, they're assembling them locally. So, so this will be jobs for Nigeria. And so, so the beauty for the company is actually we're giving them skills um, so that they can... Uh, effectively build up their own local industry, both in manufacturing and broadcasting. Just Nigeria? Uh, no, so Nigeria is first. Uh, we're doing a lot of work in Ghana, Cameroon. Basically, every African country and, and Asian and South American countries have the same at the same deadline. Uh, yeah, you've got a deadline. Are you going to reach the deadline? Are you going to hit it? Um, because there seems to be a great deal to do. There is a great deal to do. I mean, in Nigeria alone, you've got 20 million homes that need one of these sector boxes. So there is a lot to do. I know it's $30, but also you've got the regular payments for pay TV and all the rest of it. How are you going to do well, so, that? Well, so be the done? beauty is this is free. So, so, so we introduced in the UK uh, what's called Freeview, mm. which meant that instead of having to pay monthly for it, you got your channels for free because the channels made money from advertising. And we're doing exactly the same in Nigeria. So, so everybody, once they've got their box, it's free. They want, if they want to be able to pay for more things, I mean, yes. uh, how easy is that for them? I mean, payment systems are still, in some parts of Africa, very primitive. I mean, how do uh, you... Well, again, the beauty of this box is actually you can top it up with pay channels, and also you can collect a BBC-style licence fee system through it as well. So it, it gives that future proofing so that you can get, um, hopefully, Premier League football, for instance, is very popular in Nigeria, and we hope that this box will be able to have um, the football. Okay, Nick Markham, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.